Hello friends, look, Tony is attending an important meeting about some exciting new episodes. He won't be able to get out at least for another hour, but it seems that he desperately needs to pee. I told him not to drink too much water before the meeting. Good thing I have some very cool tips on how to stay out of trouble and hold it at least until the next break. This will come in handy at school, at work, or on long trips. So Tony, relax, it's gonna be okay now. Whoa, I didn't mean relaxing that much. Well, now there's no need to tell you anything. Although, our subscribers are clearly more educated than you and won't end up in a similar situation. So I'm gonna tell our viewers what to do if they don't want to piss themselves like you did. Let's go. Let's talk, for example, about a long bus ride with no toilet. The most important thing to do is to be prepared. If you know in advance that you won't have a toilet at your disposal for a long time, then don't drink too much liquids. It is better to have some water with you and drink it in small sips throughout the trip. Of course, you should avoid drinking coffee because caffeine has diuretic properties. By the way, alcohol is even worse. It forces the body to produce more urine than it does from drinking the same amount of water. But that's not about us. We don't drink any of that stuff, do we, friends? The next obvious tip is going to the bathroom just before the trip or any other activity that could keep you away from the toilet. If you know in advance that you have a long trip ahead of you, you can strengthen your pelvic floor muscles a little bit. They are the ones responsible for holding the urine inside the body. So, to begin with, you need to find them. These are the ones that strain when you want to go to the bathroom or stop peeing. Now, tense them up and cough at the same time. Keep the muscles tense while you cough and then relax. Repeat this exercise 10 to 15 times each day. In the future, this will allow you to hold back longer. But what can you do if you're on the bus, don't know when it's gonna stop, and you already want to go to the toilet? Take it easy, relax. Whoa, no, no, not like that. Someone already relaxed too much at the beginning of the video. Just stay focused and listen carefully. First, you have to spread your legs apart. Don't cross them. On the contrary, that only increases the pressure on the bladder. For the same reason, you should not bend forward. The upper part of the body should be upright. Be sure to loosen any tight-fitting clothes. Pants or skirts that are tight around the waist may aggravate the situation because of the pressure they put on the bladder. Unbuckle your belt, unbutton your pants, or undo the waistband or whatever it is that's holding your pants. And to avoid being called a pervert, cover it up with the bottom of your t-shirt or put a sweatshirt or something else on top. Try not to move too much. Squirming around affects your bladder, which increases the urge to go to the bathroom. You may want to tap your feet or fidget in your seat, but that will only make it worse. Try to get into a comfortable position and stay like that for a while. One of the best ways to cope with the urge to pee is to distract yourself. Read something, watch a movie, or play Super Tony's mobile game. You can find the link in the description. You'll want to immerse yourself in the activity so much that your brain forgets about the full bladder. Don't cough or laugh. Both of these actions can make the pelvic floor muscles relax and goodbye dry pants. Don't think about running water. The unbearable urge to urinate is also psychological, so thinking about whitewater rafting or erupting geysers will make things worse. Take your mind to the desert or think of other dry things. If the urge is absolutely unbearable, ask the bus driver to stop for a minute. We're all human, and everyone can end up in a similar situation. So, as a rule, people try to help each other out. By the way, be sure to watch the video in which Tony and I figure out what happens if you do not pee for a long time. Would your bladder burst and is it dangerous to your health to hold back for a long time? The link is on the screen and in the description. And don't forget to tell us in the comments if you've ever been in a situation where you had to pee, but you were forced to hold it. The best stories will be featured in the next episode. See you next week. Bye-bye.